I don't even know where to start. I'm just going to say, don't buy the GoPro 6. Recently, I just purchased the 6 as an upgrade to my 5. Um, when the 6 came in a couple days ago, I decided to run a little test side by side, comparing the new features, how they look against each other, the color, the frame rates, the new specs, the menu system, and all that good stuff. And right off the bat, I had issues with the 6. From it freezing on me, ghost turning on and off, and then worst of all, just this weird annoying grain um, or noise throughout the entire image. So after diving into it a little bit and looking online into what people were saying about the 6, I noticed a lot of the same things. People were complaining about the noise in this grain issue. Most notably, Peter McKinnon, who you guys probably know if you are a fan of me or watch my content. He's also a YouTuber, kind of filmmaker, photographer, um, and he was expressing the same issues with the 6 that I noticed I was having. So before I was making this right now, I tested the GoPro on this little rig that I had made up, comparing the two images side by side. Super, uh, super official here. So I'm just gonna go into that footage right now so you guys can see some of that footage comparing the two images and seeing what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little test between these GoPros right now, test them out, see how they compare with each other and see you know, if the six is worth buying over the five. So right now I am shooting at 4K 30 frames a second on both of them. The six goes up to 60 frames a second at 4K. The five only goes to 30. So right now to compare them both at the same frame rate, I'm doing 4K 30 frames a second, all the same settings across the board. So we'll see how they do. Trying to see how the image stabilization between both of these are as well. This is me just walking around with both of them. So trying to see if there's any detail difference between these two cameras. Is the sharpness better? Is the dynamic range? Is the color better? What is the real difference between these cameras? So now I switched up the settings. I got both cameras running at 1080 um, resolution. We have the six, which is set to 240 frames a second. And we have the five, which is set to 120 frames a second. So that's a new feature on the six is that it goes up to 240 frames a second, double of what the five was. So I wanna run them both simultaneously and see how much better or different the not only the image quality is at 1080, but also the slow motion, the difference between the two cameras. Um, so yeah, let's test it out. So as you can see, I just don't know what happened. Why would you put something out that wasn't battle tested? I just, my mind, I, I, I can't understand it. They've had a couple failed products in a row now and why would you bring something so big to market that's supposed to be big and just not know there was issues with it? or they knowingly knew there was issues with it but decided to put it out anyways because they're hurting for money? I just don't know. So in my honest opinion, I would just stick with the five. Don't buy the six, it's not worth it. Um, just wait for them to either come out with a newer version, uh, a fixed version of the six, or just buy the five 
and rock with that. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys could appreciate the video. Drop a like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the other videos we have on this channel from music videos, travel videos, tutorials, behind the scenes of music videos, commercials, films, all that good stuff. I'm Jacob Bones for the Buff Nerds. Peace.